हाय आई एम डॉक्टर रोहन वक्ता आई एम स्पोर्ट्स ऑर्थोपेडिक एंड आर्थरोस्कोपी सर्जन इन अहमदाबाद गुजरात करंटली आई एम वर्किंग इन आश आर्थरोस्कोपी सेंटर एंड जायडास हॉस्पिटल एज अ स्पोर्ट्स मेडिसिन कंसल्टेंट एंड आर्थरोस्कोपी सर्जन सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू स्पीक अबाउट ऑल इन साइड एशियल रिकन्स्ट्रक्शन सर्जरी मेनी पेशेंट्स नाउ डेज आर आस्किंग अस अबाउट वॉट इज ऑल इन साइड एशियल रिकन्स्ट्रक्शन वॉट आर द एडवांटेजेस ऑफ ऑल इन साइड एशियल रिकन्स्ट्रक्शन दो कन्वेंशनल वे ऑफ एशियल रिकन्स्ट्रक्शन इज यूजिंग बटन ऑन द फ्यूमर साइड एंड यूजिंग बायोडिग्रेडेबल स्क्रू ऑन द टीबेल साइड बट इन ऑल इन साइड एशियल रिकन्स्ट्रक्शन वी यूज बटन ऑन द बोथ द साइड फ्यूमर साइड एज वेल एज ऑन द टीबेल साइड सो द वॉट आर द एडवांटेजेस एंड द डिसएडवांटेजेस ऑफ ऑल इन साइड एशियल रिकन्स्ट्रक्शन सो In bio screw technique, we have to create a large tunnel in the entire length of the tibia. While in all inside ACL, we create a small socket nearer to the joint. So, the, so the bone loss in the all inside ACL is quite minimal compared to the bio screw technique. Since the bone drilling and the bone loss is less, the post-operative pain is also less in the all inside ACL reconstruction technique, as well as the recovery is also faster because the pain is less. second thing in bio screw technique the surgeon tighten the graft by his one hand and tighten the screw with another hand or assistant tighten the screw so the entire tension of the graft depends on the human force while in all inside acl reconstruction since the loop is adjustable on the both the sides the graft can be tightened from the femur side as well as on the tibial side so the chances of lax graft post operatively is very less third thing in bio screw technique many times we have to take two grafts semi tendinosus as well as gracilis while in all in side technique only one graft semi tendinosus is sufficient if graft is very short then bio screw technique the graft can be loose post operatively because the hold of the screw can be less if the graft is very short inside the tunnel while in all in side acl reconstruction technique graft is kept small so that it fits into the socket and there is no chances of loosening post operatively on the femur and the tibial side both the sides socket is created by outside in technique on the femur as well as on the tibial side socket is created by inside out technique so the graft is fully filled up in the socket so that the bone formation and the post operative graft healing is better compared to the graft healing in the large tunnel so in all these points all inside technique is better than the bio screw technique talking about the disadvantage it is slightly technically challenging creating the tunnel on the tibial side by retro reamer is little bit difficult for the conventional surgeons who are used to do bio screw technique on the other side in the bio screw technique a remnants preserving acl reconstruction can be done very easily but on the all inside technique to pass the graft from the medial portal through the tibial tunnel is difficult if the remnants are preserved so remnants have to be removed in all inside technique so that is another disadvantage because remnants are useful to provide vascularity to the new graft as well as to provide the proprioception the cost of the implants are slightly higher in all inside reconstruction technique as well as the retro reamers are usable for limited surgeries so it, the inventory needs to be more for all inside technique compared to standard bio screw technique but in certain conditions when the graft is smaller pediatric acl tear a uh, short height female with obesity where you expect hamstring graft to be very thin and short or in certain conditions when uh, the hold of the bones are not very good where you don't expect bio screw to give proper fixation all inside acl reconstruction is very useful technique